Freedom of movement is a fundamental human right, and the availability of adequate transportation, whether it be air, land, or sea, is one of the driving forces of every economy because the conducting of business activities which grows the economy is highly dependent on these factors. In Nigeria, due to the removal of fuel subsidy, movement of people and the conducting of businesses have been restricted due to the price hike in fuel and transportation. In Bayoso State, citizens took a bigger hit not only because of the price hike in fuel and transportation, but also because of the restriction of commercial tricycle operation, which is the major source of transport in the state, from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. on April 20th, due to a minor disagreement between a tricycle rider and a customer, which resulted in the death of the customer and later triggered a mob action on tricycle riders and led to the death of some riders. I hereby impose a curfew on all keke drivers from 7 p.m. to 6 a.m. Therefore, they are expected to operate only in the daytime until the situation improves. Whether you are Bayelsan, whether you are Hausa, whether you are Fulani, whether you are Yoruba, whether you are Igbo, wherever you come from, your contribution towards the peace of this state is what makes you a Nigerian and a Bayelsan. To help cushion the effect of the fuel subsidy removal and alleviate the suffering of Bayelsans as a result of the ban in tricycle operations at night and also boost the transport system in the state, the Doye Dirilet administration on the 19th of July inaugurated the restoration vehicles. So I'm looking at the year. So that year is 15 million eight hundred and forty two thousand. Excluding insurance. So that year is fifteen thousand, fifteen million three hundred. So it's twenty million six hundred and forty eight thousand. So it's seventy eight million sixty nine thousand. Unit cost. Unit cost. So sixteen million fifty one thousand and this is ninety eight thousand something. Excluding insurance. Say made them bring out. 15,000 per day. If you bring out the 15,000, we are servicing this motor twice every month. And the twice, each servicing, we are not buying roadside 7,000 naira oil. We are buying twice 5,000. So now, how do we work out this money? It's what we are calculating. So now, if we want to give you people the vehicle, say yes, go and bring this money. We have now just a fixed amount. He said he convert he converts with two people. Some of you said six thousand naira one batch. <clears throat> now what we are deciding is two per vehicle. The vehicles numbering hundred and six, comprising of taxis and buses, we are to enhance intracity travels within the Nagua and its environs. But sadly, the vision for the introduction of these vehicles is yet to be achieved almost three months after. Lamenting the hardships brought by the fuel subsidy, Mrs. Rose and Idris Tunusa recounted how it is affecting their daily lives and businesses as they also shared their views on the operations of the government vehicles in the state. Okay, no, I think by February, 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 since my life, I have come by since 2000. Come and join us now. We are going to come and join us now. Come and join us. We are going to come. That time, I enter small motor to the pump. We will pay 7,000 for during good luck time. 6,000 will pay. But now, we will not enter that one. We will enter the pump. They reach 22,000 naira from here, rich canoe state. So now this trailer on now, they enter the community. They say they want to bring out cars, can see them, but we are not bringing it out. It's only a care that we are using the money. So as for me, if governments want to ban the care set, they will bring out the thousand well so that they can ban the care that will help the people and let them bring down the price. And purposely, the thing that they need to do is the fuel. We are dying. We are suffering in this bias. The suffering is too much. Those vehicles is only driving this Tumbia to uh, Matoma and then uh, Ochoa. They are not provide 
a taxi for the road now. They are not provided for us. But the motor won't change anything for the transportation. We pay the same amount as we carry if we enter to in front. So it has not changed anything. Even before this one comes, we always pay the same amount. So we expect that before as uh, they bring this car, the price will come down. It will at least reduce the transportation. But it's even the same. Nothing has changed. I'm begging him to please, since he has produced these cars, we expect that he will bring down the price. At least the prosperity cars should come down, the price should reduce, and they should carry the normal way the Oibo people made the cars for. For commercial drivers David and Chuku Jr., the introduction of the government vehicles into the transport system in the state has rather done more harm than good as it is taking food out of their mouths and constituting a nuisance in the state's capital. According to them, the banning of Keke at night and the introduction of the vehicles to fill that gap was a good move, but the steps taken thereafter are contributing to their woes instead of reducing them as the vehicles are not doing the job they were meant for. As to the manager, at times, that period, in a week, we feel two, three times in a week, we feel to go. But now, where they carry prosperity, where our God, Miracle Governor, carry prosperity uh, vehicles come. Now, the thing they disturb us because them, when they come, they cannot, they load anywhere. Governor instructed us that he no want anybody to load along the road. And we have been maintaining it. But since where prosperity come, they can they park at the center of the road, block everywhere, cause no door, enter inside the park, they are not buying tickets. We are buying tickets, but immediately they come, they do land and lose. Go and go because they will be charged on that. That I myself, since on Sunday, since on Sunday today, that I'm going to Amazon, which is seven days. We, we are loading, we are loading the same price that we are loading, the what they are loading. And the when passenger enter our motor, they used to come inside our motor to call passengers to even drag passengers as if they are struggling to drag even passengers to put their for their own vehicle. Uh, the essence of the prosperity was supposed to help the citizens, especially in the state capital. But all of a sudden, we find them operating in the rural areas because of the high demand, the pressure they are into. Because I don't know, they said they have to pay 12,000 naira daily. So for them to meet up that amount of money, I think it's making them to do more than what they are supposed to do. In fact, to me, they are constituting users, increasing the problem more. Because I have heard them, these seven seaters are paying three, four thousand. And now, four seaters is paying twelve thousand now. So, oh, if you look at it, it's a kind of, uh, if I the worst of the way. If the authority came to make things more difficult for the transport sector, so that is, if government can look at it and review it and place it where it's supposed to place it, I think it will help the transport sector. Yes, Amasoma and Amasoma and uh, uh, and they are collecting the same 1,000 for carrying five persons. You know, they are moving the fact they need the money even more than us. You understand? They move more than they can move this way more than. Five times a day. I mean, we see the father some days we don't used to go. Sometimes four days, nobody has come to talk. Yeah, they are looking at them. They are, some of them are just you know, moving around, nowhere to go, no work to do, no work for them. So I think the prosperity has also come to increase the problem. The feather hinted on how the government can correct the mistakes in the scheme and level the playground for all commercial drivers in the state in order to achieve the results the scheme was created for. When the government, I think the government brought some vehicles to support the common people. But uh, they tried to see, say, those same vehicles, they, even they, they affect the common drivers here. So why, what do you mean by that? Sir? What I mean, these very vehicles, these very prosperity motors, they are not helping issues. The governor said that they should remit 12,000 naira. And you can see that they are loading everywhere. A day. Yes. So that thing is bringing, that is the cost nuisance to the parks. Eh? Like if the governor wants to do the right thing, they are supposed to share all these vehicles to the unions, national union employees. That is the right thing to do. You can see that even these very unions now, they are the people that want to even vote for the They are in support of this present government. They are in support of the government's second tenor. But 
this very issue of this prosperity motors are bringing issues to the unions okay. it's not it's not it's not right what the the miracle governor is doing let me say when you said you want to help the common man with these prosperity motors okay give them the motors allow them to operate normally allow them to pay if it is five thousand naira let them pay so that this thing that, that they are doing anywhere they park they want to load so i'm talking to you now they are breaking protocols they are loading there anywhere they like they will load look at it where governor said that we should not load they are loading at the roadside we are not loading there they are still loading here look at their motors are for the masses is it not but even you yourself, are you seeing these motors on this road? These small, small cars, are you seeing them? Sure, it's only private uh, vehicles that are running this road. Eh? It's only private vehicles. The motors are not even running the town service. They bring all of them to Amasuma. Only Amasuma. So the money they are paying is too much. That 12,000. The governor see reason to wait till they go. It will not automatically make them to be free. At least. If you give them 5,000 Naira to remit, even all of them will come here and relax. They will pick turn. They will load normally the way the other uh, drivers are doing. You understand? They will follow the due process of the union. This one, anywhere they park, they load. And it's still 1,000 Naira. Our motors are still loading the 1,000 Naira. To Amasuma. What is the difference now? So I'm talking about only Amasuma. So you can see that even five motors will be good here a day. Five motors. Acting chairman of the Prosperity Drivers Union, Daniel Ogbolo, responded to some of the accusations thrown at them and gave reasons as to why they operate the way they do. But in any areas, our vehicles park to you know the passengers, they keep attacking us. I remember vividly on the past administration where uh, restoration camps, yes, restoration camps are loading, and at the end of the day, no police is disturbing us, everything is moving freely. But in this case, it is a big difficult for us, and we are fighting it to make sure that they bring it down a little bit to assist us. If the balancing of 12,000 can be up and come down a bit, I think we too will now see reason to help the masses by bringing the price from going to 1,000, it can come down to 800, 700. I'm assuming 800, 700. It is okay. I mean, the government is assisting the people. But in terms of loading in the park and we are paying a tax from the government vehicle, anywhere we go, agorists will collect their own money from us in the government vehicles, which is difficult for us to balance. And that is why you see the road is empty. The uh, prosperity vehicles are not driving a commercial driving in the road. They are always driving area where they can get this money to balance up the 12,000 gig. So everyone is finding the route and the routes are not helping us. So we are struggling to balance up the 12,000 before getting the money for the fuel. We have already adjusted the whole thing. Yes, we are two drivers. We are, we are two drivers. We operate. If, it depends on the way you arrange with your, your car. If it is to drive one day, one day in and one day out, we do it. If it is two, two days, we do two, two days. It's two drivers per one day. It's empowerment. They empower about 200 persons, which is okay. But when you come into the areas where you don't have park, it is a difficult task for us. The terrain is too hot. They are fighting us. They are breaking our heads. Therefore, yesterday we see blood everywhere. Park agony. Break one of the, the prosperity drivers. The introduction of the prosperity vehicles on July 19th was meant to tackle the transport challenges brought on by the ban on commercial tricycle operations, which made movement at night very difficult, since they were the major source of transportation in the state's capital. But it is sad that due to the high demands placed on the vehicle operators, it has become a one-sided business, thereby cheating the rest of the citizens, especially Yenigo residents, from benefiting from the scheme. It is therefore pertinent that government revisit the scheme and put things in the right perspective in order to achieve and maintain the goals 
which it was created for. People, every time I want to take advantage of people. Now this one way they take 70 million by man and see, see 70 million naira boss. Whenever they arrive on drive and reach even two days for this state. Like in a bakery. They don't spray, they don't spray Chris come up for the boss. Eh? Our, yeah.